Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626195 here from our Earthbound. In the last part, we arrived at this very odd place. It's all colored blue and very odd, and we ran into these cultists, and I'm not sure how that's not a back attack, but good thing for me it wasn't. Sheesh, that was close. Oh look, there's them displaying how they call for help and they bring their other cultists with them. Hey, I can, I, I took that guy down. Hey, they only do three damage now that I have more stuff. And I took that one guy down in two hits other than the three that it took whenever I first arrived. I must have gotten stronger since I got here. Yep, sure thing. Woohoo! Anyway, in the last part, we arrived at this very strange town, and I still have that fresh egg. Uh, Kidoki. And in this part, I said I was going to check out the cave to the left of the place. That's what the annotation said. I accidentally said right, but that's for later. There's a cave off that direction, too, but I'm not exploring that right now. That is for later. You might come across some cultists in here, too, so be on the lookout. But it looks like we didn't find any. There's a magic butterfly there, I think. Yep, magic butterfly. Magic butterfly made nest relax. There are also crows here that you can run into. See, crows. Meow. It's kind of odd how they make you fight the uh, spiteful crows, even though they are very uh, low, low-level um, uh, enemies, which is very odd. Maybe if you just ran into one, it would actually just be all give you the U1 message automatically. But I ran into two, so it. Oh look, a cookie! I uh, do not think I want to throw anything away for just a cookie. Nope, I need all this stuff. No. Yes, I'll leave the cookie behind. I abandoned the cookie. Oh, how sad. Poor cookie. Here, let's head in. Hey, there's another magic butterfly up there that I can't get. Oh, looky here. Listen to what song this is. It's the, it's the Paula theme song. And look. Oh, hey, I hear chirping. Look, we have a chick now. Yay. Look who it is. It's Paula. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my, my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to try to bust out of here. The Japanese version says, if you hadn't come, I would have started crying. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. <laughs> Carpenter? <laughs> Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear the Franklin badge, okay? What? Uh, do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Oh, that's right. I need a space in my inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump this bomb, because I don't really need it. Drop. Ness got rid of the bomb. There we go. Now let's speak. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would, ever to I would start crying. I'm the way I the key from Carpenter. In that case, you should wear the Franklin badge, okay? And Ness got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me the... Get me out once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Alrighty, sure thing. She's got a teddy bear in there, if you didn't notice. Anyway, we head out, and look who it is. Hey, Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You call you, you can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Asmism. Well, actually, in, the, in Mother 2, it actually says... Uh, Pokey says something along the lines of, And just when it looks like I'm going to be able to be a big shot in happy appyism thanks to Mr. Carpenter, giving the fact that, one, he isn't important yet, and two, Ness screws it up somehow. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. And we have a fight between two cultists and a crow. <laughs> and funny thing is the crow's in front and the cultists are in the back, so which is kind of odd. Anyway, let's just go ahead and fight these guys. They aren't too bad. It's just that if they call for help, you might... Yay, you didn't steal anything! That would suck if it stealed something, because I like my items. No one came! Ha ha, you guys have no friends! Alright, let's take out the cultist B now. That way we can get rid of the other guy, and then just take the crow out with one hit. 
Protected my eyes! One damage! And paint attack, three damage. Alrighty, this fight is just about done! Once I get pecked by this crow, I will ki Oh, well, never mind. It has to- Okay, it has a big grin on its face. And it dodged again! It just wanted to get me down to 111 HP, didn't it? SMASH! Yeah! <laughs> Ness got really annoyed at that crow, it's all like, STOP DODGING! And then it's like, DIE! And then there goes Pokey. <laughs> See, Pokey just runs off, you can't really catch up to him. People think you can, but you can't. Anyway, if we try heading back this way to... Looks like there's no enemies, yay! Normally you might run into some enemies if you try going through there. Good, do we have a... It's still a chick. I'm gonna go ahead and wait till it's a chicken so I can go ahead and... Sell it. Up! Oh, you heard that! That noise means our chick is now a chicken! Yay! Now we can go sell it at the store. Let's go up to the guy. Let's sell! What do I want to sell? I want to sell this chicken. I'll buy it for hundred and ten dollars. Would you like to do that? Yes! Thank you very much. Can you do anything else? No, thank you very... That's a good money-making strategy if you're low on cash and you want to make some money. Just, yeah, just get an egg and, uh... Uh, wait till it hatches. It's really nice. We trust you. Feel free to shop here. I would like to get myself a fresh egg so I can eat it. Kind of odd how you can eat fresh eggs considering they can actually incubate and... So it's like you're just eating a raw egg, which is... Ick. Alright, let's buy myself a banana. Anyway, I'll just ha I'll have some other sort of healing item. Um... Hmm... That should be good. Let's go ahead and go into the... Oops, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's go into the main building once that lady moves out of the way. Eh, thank you. Okay, let's go in. Alrighty, there are a lot of little guys in here. And if you try talking to one... Well, eh. That's weird. Eh. Talk to. There's no response. I see. Alrighty, there's a present down here, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Blue, blue, oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. See this present here? Normally whenever you uh, select talk to, the pres it says who are you talking to, but if you click talk to, it says there's no response. <laughs> Ness, open the present. There's a croissant inside. Got too much stuff. Uh, what can I get rid of? Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and go, uh, d drop some things off at the, um, place with the thingies. I am going to call the Escalgar Express and see if they can pick up some stuff for us. Yeah, store some of my items, because we have a broken machine that's taking up our in one of us a slot in our inventory space. I'd like to get it out of there. And I think I want to go ahead and... Uh, hello, insane cultist. Might want to store something else, too. Alrighty, Escargo Express guy is here. Let's... Yes, I can cover the bill. Take some items from me. Take my broken machine. And take my pencil eraser. No. Yes, take those two items. Woohoo! Yay, now I've got two free inventory slots. That'll be good. And now I have to talk to this guy to get him to move again. Alrighty. Now let's get the item. Croissant inside! Ness takes it. You see there is some... These guys that are moving in the steady beat with the other guys. And they're the guys that are moving slightly faster than the other ones. Blue, blue. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. And that guy you can talk to. Blue, blue. What? I'm blocking you? Okay, I'll move out of your way. And if you talk to this guy, he'll say, Blue, blue. I say, Arm the torpedoes! Full speed ahead! Or something like that. So now I'll crush you! And we get into a fight with an insane cultist. Yeah, there are a couple fights you can get into in this place. It's just good to get some more experience, just in case. What's funny is that, you know how there's so many people in there? These guys can call for help in here, and the will like, still fail, even though there's so many of them around. Uh, now, I can't remember if this is a dead end or not. 
don't think I can go anywhere else from here, so we have to go down. Blue, blue, don't disturb our meeting or I'll stomp on you. I'm gonna cut this fight. SMASH! Die! I won! I love winning. Ness is now level 17! Maximum HP won up by... Wow! That was a short and simple uh, level. Uh, Less than that level 17. Max HP went up by 3. Done. <laughs> blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. Blue, blue. Lagoon, blue. Oh, that's right. You can talk to those guys after they done, got done moving out of your way. Blue, blue. Is it your hobby or something that bothers others while they pray? <laughs> blue, blue. I moved out of your way. And now you have to go up here. Blue, blue. What are you saying that I'm only capable of when walking in place? That's not true. See? Blue, blue. You must need some help because you're standing around. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. <laughs> blue, blue. Now I've got it. Blue, blue. Nice. <laughs> it's funny. Let's open the present. There's a skip sandwich inside. Ness takes it. Yay, I like skip sandwiches. They make you go a bit faster. There's a bit of a slowdown in here. Blue, blue. Hey, you, anti-blue boy. You're getting on my nerves. Another fight. Ha! Ah, insane cult has called for help, but no one came. Ha ah, ha, you have no friends in this big giant place. <laughs> Even though there's so much of you around. <laughs> Alrighty, there's a specific guy in here that I want to talk to, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there he, here he is. Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue, blue. Whistling is hard. Actually, in the Japanese version, uh, he, the, whist, the whistler is actually trembling. He's saying, Buru, buru, which is an onomatopoeia for trembling, similar to, uh, uh, by the way, it's spelled B U R U, which is similar to B U R U U, B U R U U, which is blue, blue. And he's saying along the lines, Tremble, tremble, don't glare at me with such a stern look. Okay, fine, I'll move out of your way. You talk to him again, it says, it says, Tremble, tremble, is uh, scaring you, is scaring me that much fun for you? Alrighty, next guy. Blue, blue, you're strange, you're strange, unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven! And that's actually left unchanged. Yeah, believe it or not, that guy did say don't go to, um, don't go to heaven in the Japanese version as well as in the other version. Alrighty, there's some guys here that if you wanted to, you could talk to and have a battle with. Blue, blue, your outfit, the color is wicked. Blue, blue, you can't be happy unless you know happy happyism. I don't know if any of these fight you. Does this guy? Blue, blue, this should wake you up. Arrgh! Yeah, this guy fights you. Alrighty, guys, now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and head over here. And talk to this guy. I, I screamed. Because they didn't know what else to do. <laughs> He's a weird guy. And if you head up here, this is Mr. Carpenter. Let me scroll down here in my notes here real quick. First after okay. Talk to him. Thanks for coming! I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help to make make, make the world blue and change it to a happy and peaceful society. Won't you be my right hand assistant? And then the Mother too, he says, Won't you and Paula become my right hand assistants? No! If you don't want to be my right hand, uh, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me, and I'll end your pitiful game. And that lightning, Carpenter's lightning, was reflected by the Franklin badge. And he now fights us. Alrighty, the fight with Mr. Carpenter. He has 262 HP. He can do a crashing boom bang attack, attack which is the equivalent of PSI Thunder Beta, which hits twice. Can do life up alpha, uh, and can do a paint attack for mid-level damage, and can also do a P use a PSI shield, which will protect him from PSI attacks. So let's go ahead and use Rocket. He's using a crashing boomerang attack. It didn't hit anyone. It didn't hit anyone. All right, let's go ahead and just use this once. Didn't work on Mr. Carpenter. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to bash. Carpenter tried Life of Alpha. Well, that was kind of pointless, don't you think? Oh, we haven't done anything yet. There we go. 37 HP. Paint attack. 30 damage to me. Ouch. That kind of hurt. Cra yes, use that. Didn't hit anyone. Yes! Watch this! Wrangle badge detected the lightning! 106 HP of damage to Mr. Carpenter! <laughs> yeah, he hurts himself. And he uses a PSI shield. Smack. Hit him again. 
And he turned back to normal. Woohoo! I won. And we got 1,412 experience. Woohoo! Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? All right, I gotta scroll back up. Uh, and he says in the chap in Mother Two, he says the gold-colored statue behind me. There's no mention of the name. Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this even if you need to throw away one of your items. Darn it! Always when I need to take something, the my stuff is full. Let's go ahead and eat the skip sandwich. There we go, 6 HP. Okay, yes, want to have a normal life. Here's the key. Take the key and go. Woohoo! Ness got the key to the cabin! Zoom! I'm running out of here! I mean, I'm running out of here. There we go. So you're the boy that, that you went after Mr. Carpenter, and you're awesome! <laughs> And you notice this place is all empty now, and there's just a couple guys left. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. <laughs> yeah, and you could get the uh, the presents now if you wanted to, if you didn't get them before. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. Nice. Hang on a second. Alrighty, I just had to uh, delete some things in my notepad. Let's go ahead and head out of here. And when we head out, we'll be approached by Pokey, or Porky. What a horrible nightmare, I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was really something, Ness. It looks like I somehow woke up too. Let's be friends again. Please answer me, I promise to be good. Come on, reply to me, will ya? I promise I'll be a good guy. Uh, okay. And, uh, I guess it's a no, huh? And then he says... Ha! I lied! See you, sucker! Bleh! Sticking tongue out. I was just lying. Someday, you'll see! <laughs> Interesting. And you go up to this lady over here, and she'll say, Finally, I have a chance to apologize. Interesting. And you go to this house again, and they'll say, Oh, hi-ho! <laughs> we might have been listening to evil messages rather than good. We might have been listening to messages to messages from the devil rather than God. And then there's there's a kind of a, a strange line if you go down to this guy over here and you talk to him. He says, "My wife or wife has run away for the second time. I'm such a lucky man." And it says, uh, "My wife who has returned ran away again. Man, I have no luck." <laughs> so that's kind of odd. You see, everything is now not blue anymore. Talk to this guy. You really think I was a bad boy? <laughs> Alrighty, we're just about done with this part. Regal Living Farm, lodging's available, yeah. This cow is still blue, though. The blue cow thing wasn't in such a great idea after all, huh? And, but if you go into this house, remember the guy who said he could stay? He said, Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Sure. Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I won! Yay, victory is mine! All right, let's go on out. Good morning, take care, and good luck. So now we're all healed up. Woohoo! Now we can go save Paula! Woohoo! Just what I needed. First, I want to talk to some of the people in here. I apologize. All these people are all sorry now because of what they did. And the healer just says the same thing. No, I don't need any help. Sorry. Sorry, I can't provide you with any business. It was hard on the eyes. It was hard on the eyes to have everything blue. That's true. It does kind of mess with your eyes after all. We need to return the town to its original colors. I'll be very busy. I'm a changed person. I'm no longer a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. Yeah, we'll be checking out that place in the next part. You notice there are the bananas are gone now. Thanks for your support over the years. The food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. Ah, uh, darn it, we can't get free money now. And she says the same thing as she used to say, as the other said. Hey, there's a magic butterfly. Woke up from the dream. <laughs> nice. And we go in here. And these two people are still here. I, too, was wrong in many ways. Seems like I'm no longer hypnotized. So, it looks like everyone's, everything's returning back to normal here in Happy Happy Village. Happy Happy. Happy Happy Village. Which means now, if you go in here... 
doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop It's back to the normal, uh, ta drugstore music. That's really nice, don't you think so? I sure think so. Anyway, let's go grab ourselves a Paula. By heading through the cave. Ooh, creepy music. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it, you can... You can hear water running in this part of the map if you listen real closely. Hey, look, a back attack. I won. Enemy left a present. A cookie. No, I will have leave the cookie behind. <laughs> Poor cookie. Anyway, welcome to Paula. Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? And the funny thing is, if you say yes or no to this, you'll still say the same exact thing. No. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Look, are you hurt? Yes, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. You say the same thing. Anyway, let's use the key to the cabin. Use. Ness, use the key to the cabin. Yay! Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson! And she'll grab her teddy bear. And... Paula joined the party! And she has a teddy bear of her own, too. Teddy bear. Burr. Teddy bear. What? Really? You have to fight this spiteful crow? Oh, it's because it's still faster than us. Jeez. Now we've got a two-party member system going. Woohoo! And we got a cookie. Hey, I got a cookie. Woohoo! Just what I needed. Not really. I don't need a cookie. Uh, darn it, I can't get out of here. Oh! Just taking it instantaneously. I'm a photo of genius. I'm gonna do this all myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Yeah! Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings back the fondest of memories. I like the photo guy. The photo guy's funny. Anyway, there's a bad tree up there. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try doing the glitch with the uh, simultaneous defeat with them a little bit later once we're going back to Tucson. But now we're going to uh, end it off for this part. So in the next part of Earthbound, we're going to explore this cave off in this direction right here that leads to Lily Put Steps. And if you notice, this town now is all unbluish now, which is even more so than it was. So, thank you for watching this part of Earthbound, and have a wonderful day.